Hello, my name is James Hendry. And my name is Trishala Naidu. We're going to be discussing Safari Snaps, Africam's new game which allows you, as a community member, to tag different species as they appear at our Africam cameras. Each species that you see has a unique rarity score based on how frequently it is seen at one of the cameras. The score may differ from how endangered or rare an animal is in the various locations. Now this is all fun and games. The scoring of each animal shouldn't be taken too seriously, as sometimes we see a rare animal often, and a common animal may not occur on a particular camera. We can't be too pedantic about it. For example, we are very unlikely to see an impala at the black eagle nest. Our top seven most common animals are those that are usually found around waterholes, and these are the most common that we see around. Now, obviously, our cams are put at waterholes, so we're likely to see those animals that come around there often. You're also going to get most of the action during the hottest part of the day or the hottest part of the year. So leading up to summer, there's going to be lots of action and plenty to tag at the waterholes. So if you see an impala, you can get yourself 10 points because they are, in fact, very, very common, often overlooked, but very common. So you can easily get 10 points by spotting an impala. Number six is elephant with a spectacular 11 points. Now that doesn't sound like enough for the world's largest land mammal, but because elephants are water dependent, you're going to find them at the waterholes pretty frequently. I agree. I think they deserve more points, especially since you're likely to see them in a herd. Um, but nonetheless, they are common and they will frequent the water hole, so 11 points it is. And uh, number five on the list is the water buck, which could get you a great whopping 18 points. Wow. Water buck, also water dependent, so you're likely to see them around, but they're not as common as the other antelope, like the impala, that you only score 10 points for. And you want to really be looking out at Tau and at Baluli to see the water buck at the water holes. Then, we have got, unsurprisingly, the Hippopoptimus. Now the hippo you'll get 18 points for, but you're only going to find it in much deeper water. So the really shallow pans you won't see them in. You're going to be looking out in rivers largely, so the Olifants or Kruger Shalati. Next, uh, that's number three on our list, we have Zebra, and a Zebra can get you 19 points. I would say a little less common than the others we've had on the list to see near the waterhole at least very frequently, but certainly on our cams we've been seeing a lot of them. So a zebra can get you 19 points and um, you can see their dazzling display and hopefully a nice reflection in the water while you snap up those points. They're also part of this list because they are so water dependent, so we'll see them at water much more frequently than we would less water dependent species. Next up is the humble warthog with 20 points and why a humble warthog should get almost double the points that an elephant gets, I'm not sure, but they are extremely water dependent and they are very vulnerable to desiccation, so you will definitely see them around water and mud. And in the top spot for 20 points, if you see a crocodile, we will gladly hand you over 20 points, um, but you have to have a keen eye to make sure that you actually see them because they blend in really well to both the environment around the waterhole and in the water. But it'll score you 20 points if you can spot them. Those are our top seven most common animals, and you're likely to see them every day just about at the various waterhole cameras that we have. So get tagging and snapping.